Time now for Sunrise On Demand, where you decide the stories. And this morning, the focus is on recycling and whether it's a waste of time. Some people are very sceptical about this, so let's find out what happens to the stuff in your wheelie bin once it's been collected. Curious. Lara Shannon from Keep Australia Beautiful is at one mm. of Vizzy's material recovery facilities, which is capable of recycling a thousand tonnes of material every day. Lara, good morning to you. Now, we've got to convert Nat that you guys do the right thing. Where do things like Absolutely. our newspapers and milk cartons end up? Well, basically, they get recovered and then they get broken down into a little fibre, and it's really simple. They get turned back into new boxes. Okay, <laughs> easy enough. Look, um, I, I want to ask you about the separation of the bins because my mum yes. in Bunbury, they have one bin where they put paper, plastic, everything in. We have separate ones yep. where I live. Does that matter? Uh, there's lots of different systems. No, it doesn't matter because particularly at a facility like this, they go along on the conveyor belt and then they all go off into where they're meant to belong. So plastic goes one way, cardboard boxes go the other, glass goes to another and they end up where they should. Okay. Um, now there's a lot of money and energy involved in curbside uh, collections and then the processing. Are we good at it? Is recycling cost effective or is it just costing ratepayers more? No, recycling is very cost effective. Now, I don't know about you, but I don't want my garbage sitting in my backyard, so we have to get rid of both your waste and your recyclables. So the cost is really about sending that truck around. So whether it's picking up your garbage or whether it's picking up your recyclables, there is a cost involved. But of course, with recyclables, that material has a, cost in, a positive cost to it in that uh, Vizzy, for example, will pay for a lot of these materials. And then, of course, they get recovered and turn into new materials. So actually, it is far more cost effective than sending it to landfill with uh, particularly with landfill levies increasing dramatically over the next few years. Okay, look, we have been right recycling for quite a few years now. Have we got it right? What are we doing wrong? Mm -hmm. Well, unfortunately, we're still doing quite a few things wrong in terms of contamination. And really, the big one is people that are still putting plastic bags in their recycling bin. Uh, when you put your papers and your bottles, and then you think you're doing the right thing by shoving them into a plastic bag, tying it up and putting it into the bin, big no-no. That actually contaminates it, and sometimes they then can't be recycled. So mm. also with food and drink, we need to make sure that they're not left in the bottles and the containers. And we don't have to be quite as, as uh, strict as we used to be. Now you just need to make sure you wipe out the food out of your container rather than having to scrub it completely. And certainly make sure there's no liquid in the bottles. Uh, what about pizza boxes? Absolutely, recycle those pizza boxes. Just make sure there's not too much food. The big issue is contamination. So it's using a bit of common sense. If there's a little bit of food in there, it can make it through. It's okay. But if obviously you've got a slice of pizza in there still, then make sure you put that in the bin or even better, your compost bin. So do enough businesses use recycled materials, Lara? Well, look, there's always room for growth, and I think, you know, that's a big area. We need to create more markets. There are certainly a lot of businesses, and there is a lot of use for our recycled products now. So, you know, it's certainly grown dramatically over the last five, ten years. Um, but, you know, now there's always a lot more that we can do. So, obviously, that's where the commitment should be. And, Lara, people would be stunned at these centres, wouldn't they, the technology that goes into it. I've, I've been to one of the busy ones, and they have them in America. They're world class at it. But, but how it's all sorted is fascinating, isn't it? It is absolutely amazing. I've come through here and, you've, and sort of at one step you've got people who are manually sorting it at the beginning yeah. and they take out things like the plastic and the cardboard. But uh, the uh, plastic bottles and the plastic products, for example, you go through this conveyor belt and one shoots up that way, the other shoots that way and one shoots down depending on the weight and then that's really by the type of plastic. So it's quite phenomenal. You just see them all sort mm. of shoot everywhere and they end up going where they're meant to go. That's fantastic. Yeah. Good get blown up, mm, heat, water, all that sort of yeah. stuff. Lara, thank you for that. I think we've converted it. Have we? <laughs> yeah, oh, no, good. look, I, I do recycle. I just drove behind a rubbish truck the other day and it saw it all being crushed down. I was just curious how it all works. There you so, go. Thank you, Lara. Thank you, Lara. It does. It all gets recovered and it gets reused. Thank Beauty. You.